Ross, that's now, well, that's two defeats in a week, unfortunately. So what are your thoughts after tonight's game? Did you think they um, Obviously, it's a defeat, so it's not good enough. And, and uh, we want to, um, we, we need to win games and, and we want to obviously win games. So, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's disappointing. Um, I think, uh, I don't, I thought, I mean, we've, we've spoke a lot, haven't we? I thought we were terrible on Saturday. Um, and, we, and we weren't good enough on Saturday, but in terms of today, I thought we applied ourselves a lot, lot better. Um, it's one of those games where, and, and probably people don't want to hear it, but it's fine margins, and, and we, we we don't def I thought we defended well for most of the game, apart from apart from the obviously edge of shot box. And you look at them, they've had that shot from the edge of the, edge of the box, which has gone right in the corner, and then we haven't closed it down well enough, and then. Obviously, Tabs had his chance, and Tyler has the two chances before half time. And yeah, it's 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 one of those. Look, I mean, is it one of those today then, where it has been a bit unlucky? I don't like using the word unlucky because because, because ultimately we've conceded conceded goals again, um, which we, we we did a lot of work. I mean, we did a lot of work on our shape, out of possession. Um, we looked at um, what would be like pressing from sort of a mid to low press the first twenty minutes. We we were getting um, weren't getting pressure on the ball high enough. Um, we made a little change to get the the two two wingers, which was the plan anyway, to play inside and play higher. So it was almost like a narrow front three um, to play in and around Tav and worked a lot lot better. And, and well, like I said, we got two really big chances off it. And um, you've you've got to do better in that scenario. Whereas they get God, they've had what two chances as well, and and maybe three with excellent save from Luke at the end, but. Um, and, and took their took their chance in the big moments, and, and that sort of seems to be um, the story. We're conceding goals, um, and, and not and not taking our chances. We obviously have another chance to put things right on Saturday. Uh, it's gonna, is it going to be a you know a busy week of you know lifting a few heads in that dressing room? We have we have to have belief. We have to believe um, uh, we can we can go on a on a run like we have done and, and get three three points in, on Saturday and, and, and then bounce into sort of Yeovil at home and um, our home form in, in these situations is, 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 is obviously terrible um, but but it's so important that that our, when we bring teams at home that we're going to try and obviously we want to try and turn that form so that's going to be really important in the run-up. Um, but yeah, obviously, obviously with lots of things we can do better. I mean, in terms of like, I think about again, obviously the second goal is, is a killer because obviously we pile everyone forward and we get caught. So that got that is what it is. But how how's how's that not a red card when we're through one on one and Tal is one on one with a goalie and then suddenly there's a free kick pulled back, mental and then should be maybe a red card. I can't. I honestly couldn't believe it. I, I still to this still to this minute don't understand what what happened there or, or why that happened and. But I guess that's stuff that goes against you, and, and then it highlights everything else that we haven't sort of done well enough. We're, we're close to that 50 point mark still, you know, it's still very achievable. But, you know, let's talk about the elephant in the room a little bit. Are we, have we been dragged back into the relegation scrap? We are always in it until we're mathematically safe. Um, and, and we were performing really well up to Wrexham, and now we're not. Um, we perform well at South End, but, but maybe that maybe that's sort of something that was quite, may I say, a one off. I thought it would turn, but then again, like I said, it was awful at the it's awful at home the gate said. Um and then and then tonight we haven't quite got the rub of the grain but but I guess I guess you said the word unlucky but you make your own look right and, and you gotta take the chances. It's not that we haven't had chances, it's not that we haven't had opportunities to test a goalie, it's not that we haven't got one v one against their full back or got in behind and then sort of lacked that little bit of brave or bravery or courage to to really sort of make something happen in the final third. We look we look like a team Certainly, when we win the ball back, because we defended pretty well, well first part of the two goals, but um, defended pretty well, and then yeah, we don't look like we've got the confidence to keep possession, or, or at times keep possession, and lack that little bit of bravery in the final third, um, and that ruthlessness in the final third, which which got to turn. Like you said, we we got to get to the fifty with seven away. Like we want to go past that, obviously as well. We've got six games left. Six opportunities to do better, um, and like I said, we've got to take our chances, and we've got to have real belief and real confidence. And at the support tonight, obviously, like the way fans like travelling Tuesday night Halifax, like wow, like that's unbelievable, isn't it? And and however many were there, like clapping us off at the end and, and whatnot. So really, really, um, really, really grateful of that support. And 
like I said, hopefully that continues into Wheelstone and hopefully that continues into um, uh, Yeovil at home. Cheers, Russ. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.